All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2014 Western film called The Salvation. And I believe this is, is Danish uh, Productions uh, company that's making this. Uh, it's a Danish Western American film. Uh, the American part being it, the, on the Western front in the 1800s. But here's the plot. After shooting the man who murdered his wife and child, a Danish settler occurs the wrath of a man of the man's brother and ruthless land baron who rules their frontier town. Now here is some of the cast. Now right away I noticed the color grading was odd looking, even more so at night. It was, it was yellow in the daytime and grayish at night. But times of the day the scenes had this shine glazy look to it. Made it look like an old western film while having the high, high definition look to it. So it was, it, was, it was simple. Now I knew the main character was going to be played by the great actor uh, Mads Mikkelsen, and I, I butchered that, and I do apologize, especially to the Danes. I believe he's Danish, uh, but he's a great actor. But had no clue Jeffrey Morgan was in this film as the villain. Both great actors, however, in my opinion, didn't feel like Jeffrey Morgan's character got the justice he deserved. The film should have had more runtime to give the character more depth, in my opinion. Mad's character got a way more focus on him. No hate on that as uh, he was fantastic throughout the film. Not a shocker. But just saying Jeffrey's character had more to offer than what was given to his character. Now the score and atmosphere sound was overlaying the dialogue just a little too much in my opinion. A bit distracting. The super loud sound, uh, sound effects of the punches and gunshots they had a layered boom to it that gave it a low echo like sound which made the shot slowly spread out uh, the, the bullet shot spread out of uh, kind of like a, a kind of an echo type of feeling so you can kind of type of thing uh, kind of loud at times but I appreciate it the director's artsy slow panning and flippy, uh, flipping the, pan the shots along with many other types of very different uh, shops while keeping some of the same through each scene. Took me off guard, but I loved it by the middle of the film. Um, I got used to it. All this being used gave it a 90s action western look and feel to it. No clue if that was done on purpose, um, but here is my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. Now, despite my rating, um, I did like the film a lot for what it was, but in my opinion, it had issues. Now, I do use headphones, so the sound problem could be on my end, to be fair, uh, but the punches didn't uh, link up well, well with the sound effects. I do see what the point, I don't see what the point was of Eva Green's character outside of being a widow in the background. It felt like the story could have just kept her there in the background, then extending her story reach. I, it, the film could have gone on with or without her, in my personal opinion. Uh, I, I also kind of think it's a bit of a waste of her acting skills, because she was a mute the whole time as well. But it's just kind of like the, the character had its little bit of purpose in it, but more like in the back background, like a, a third level side character that was just there um, that's what it should have been but it was more like they were trying to make her like a secondary character um, but uh, yeah what did you guys think though let me know in the comments below uh, so I don't know if the audio is good on this uh, I do apologize either way it's going out um, but uh, yeah so you know if you don't like the audio let me know in the comments below I like feedback so 
Uh, and so uh, otherwise I can't read your guys' mind. So I do appreciate when you do, but it's not that often. Um, but uh, yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and uh, skull.